I have started following the whole food plant-based diet and have been seeing my blood sugar during the daytime going down. But unfortunately, my fasting blood sugar is still 140. Is there anything that I can do to lower morning fasting numbers? Okay, so blood glucose in the middle of the day has gone down, but fasting blood glucose is still hovering around 140. Yep. Okay, so the answer is go get your C-peptide tested. Okay, that's the first thing that you can do. If you have a low C-peptide value, then what that can mean is that your fasting blood glucose can start to increase without you really wanting it to. Uh, number two, um, again, let's go back to liver insulin resistance. When your liver is insulin resistant, it struggles in the middle of the night. It's competing against your, uh, sorry, your pancreas is competing against your liver. Your liver's drop, dropping glucose into your blood and your, and your pancreas is saying, hey man, I can't keep up with this, I can't keep up with this. Um, in order to calm your liver down and to quiet it down so that it's secreting less glucose into your blood in the middle of the night, what you do is you improve your insulin sensitivity in your liver. So if you adopt a low fat plant-based whole food diet and you really clean up your diet and try and minimize, eliminate your animal food intake, your liver will, will secrete less glucose into your blood in the middle of the night. And as a result of doing that, when you wake up in the morning, your blood glucose is gonna be lower. Okay? It's very, very common in people who have an insulin resistant slash fatty liver. So uh, it's a simple, simple, simple thing that you can do, but it has profound impacts. The second thing that I will say is that even if your fasting blood glucose is a little bit high, but the rest of the day your blood glucose is, is uh, in range, then it's not actually that big of a problem because the elevation in your blood glucose only happens for a very short period of time. Okay? What you're trying to eliminate is your blood glucose going up to 140 and then staying at 140 or staying at 150, 160 for a long period of time. If it's literally just going up a little bit and then coming right back down, then you're protected. But ultimately what you want to do is get your fasting blood glucose below 100. And the way to do that again is to make your liver the most that the happiest machine in your entire body. When you do that, your fasting glucose will drop immediately.